doing today. So I encourage you, if you have a testimony, we may not get to hear it tonight, but if you have a testimony, come share it. Or if you're watching online, on the web viewer, there's a little tab there that says testimony. Just click on that and email it in. Who's this, Vivian? This is Gabi. He is a One Thing intern from Puerto Rico. So Gabriel, tell us what, what's going on. Uh, so uh, back in Puerto Rico, they want me to uh, make a surgery because my cartilage was uh, separated. So I just say that I don't want the, that surgery. I'm going to wait So because I really want to counter God, you know. And Tuesday night, uh, it was Curry Asbury set, and I was asking God to um, feel the power, you know, the, the burn. I want to feel the fire. And I just started feel that something was burning inside of me and uh, the, the fire of God was inside of me. So I was just singing, break up the chain, break up the chains. And uh, in this shoulder, I couldn't like put it up. You so, couldn't put it up? Yes. Because of the cartilage. So when I was like, break up the chain, I was like, whoa. And, and I was type, like, whoa. Do you see that? Do that again. So, no, so the thing is that I couldn't put it like this, and I will feel like um, something was burning inside me, and I was like, whoa, oh, oh, God. So you can break off the chains. Yeah. Let me see you break off the chains. Yeah. So, uh, um, there ain't no chain that can hinder you. Yeah. So to be honest, because uh, this is all new for me, I was like, um, like doubt. There was doubt. Uh, yes. So I was like, God, uh, I, I really want like a confirmation. So I just, I opened the Bible and it comes from John 5, where it says that um, Jesus healed the pool. So I just started crying and crying and crying and keep break up the chains and break up the chains. And it's been fine ever since. No, no pain. No pain. Yeah. Because he's the healer. Yeah. He broke off the chains. Thank you, Jesus. Let's worship. Just stand and worship the Lord. Thank Him for what He's done. Lord, we thank You for Your healing power in this place tonight. Lord, we ask as we worship and as Corey comes and shares the Word that You would release more of Your glory, more of Your presence, more of Your power in this room. Holy Spirit, we love You. Oh, we love that You come to manifest the power and the presence, the beauty of Jesus to us. We ask you for more, even now. Lord, release more. Just ask him to touch you right now, all over the room. Just put your hands before him as though you're receiving a gift. Say, here I am, Lord. Touch me. Touch my heart. Touch my mind. Touch my body. Draw near to me tonight. In Jesus' name.
sunsets free It's free and deep If there ain't no chains that can hinder me Hallelujah
season of rain you said in the season of rain ask for rain yes god we feel a few little drops on our face and we're saying lord would you release more would you release more even tonight god between now and midnight we ask that you would release more jesus name amen 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 good ted take a seat for a minute you people love jesus Now listen, something's about to happen here because as you poured yourself out to him, he's poured himself out to us, amen? And we're about to pray a prayer. It's familiar to most of us, but I want you to hear this. We are about to plead the blood of Jesus over our sins and the sins of our nation, and he will respond, amen? We're about to ask him to end abortion in our nation. And you know what? As we pray this, even now someone could make a decision to end their plan for abortion. Do you believe that? That's going to happen tonight. And then we're going to pray for revival in this land, for a sweeping move of God's power across this nation. It's such a crucial time in our history. Let's stand together and pray this prayer with the same anointing that you've been worshiping. So Jesus, I plead your blood over my sins and the sins of my nation. God, end abortion and send revival to America. Jesus, I plead your blood over my sins and the sins of my nation. God, end abortion and send revival to America. Jesus, I plead your blood over my sins and the sins of my nation. God, end abortion and send revival to America. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. You may be seated. Would you take your bulletin out? Follow along with me. I've got just a couple of quick announcements. First of all, we want to welcome you again to our FCF service. We're so blessed that you're here, especially our returning and new students at IHOPU. Man, welcome back. If you look with me at number four, starting on this Friday night, or I'm sorry, February 3rd, two Friday nights away, Mike Bickle will continue in his series, Jesus, Our Magnificent Obsession. This is a class. It's on the person of Jesus, fully God, fully man, his beauty, his majesty. You you can come for free. We welcome you to come on Friday night starting February 3rd to this awesome class. Number six on your bulletin, if you have any interest or questions about small groups on the IHOP mission space, come to an orientation on January 26th, that's this Thursday from 7 to 8.30 p.m. in the seminar room at the Redbridge Center. 
Um, you can find out more about our life groups, our small groups. And number eight, if you're interested in some new classes and leagues that are forming, I want you to visit the Welcome Center, which is that table to my right. There's information there about some of the new sports leagues and um, foreigner arts opportunities. So stop by that table on your way out tonight. I'd like to invite the ushers to come and receive our offering. I'm going to pray in just a moment. Would you bow with me? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the way your presence has moved in this place tonight. Thank you, Lord, that you've been restoring the joy of our salvation. You've been setting captives free. You've been healing our bodies, healing our emotions, healing our relationships. Lord, you've been forgiving our sins. So, Lord Jesus, we offer you from the bottom of our hearts, deep gratitude for what you're doing among us. Lord, would you now use this act of worship, the giving of our tithes and our offerings. Lord, would you use this to further your kingdom, both in this community, through this ministry, and in our world. And Lord, as Bo sings and then Corey Russell speaks, Lord, open the word of life to us. Open our ears, open our minds, open our spirits. Put the seed of your good news down deep within us so that those who surround us tonight, tomorrow, this week will be moved by the grace of Jesus Christ. We pray this in your precious and holy name. God's people said, amen. Sometimes I felt like a better warrior Like I have something left to prove It's so hard to sit and let you love me When love never showed itself as an option to choose and mercy they always find me I guess they follow me all my days lift this weight off my shoulder so I can stand up straight and now I come to you and gaze and I say no one can love me like you do eyes for you No one can love me like you do I only have eyes for you been offended oh, If I claimed everything that I own When love it comes I know I'll be bending To take for flesh the side of stone Something I could stand on They can sign some marks my grave No one can love me like you do I only have eyes for you Sweet. 
love's like fire on my heart Your 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 love's like fire
how distressed I am until it is released. Father, we cry out for another wave. We cry, Lord, that you would release that seraph anointing, that you would raise up burning ones out of this house, that you would raise up burning ones through the web. God, we ask you to send the fire of the Holy Spirit. We ask you for that realm of encounter, for that realm of revelation. We ask you to release the spirit of revelation. Catch us up. Catch us up. Catch us up.
said in the days of Samuel, I'm going to do something that will make the ears tingle. Lord, we ask you to release fire on our ears. Touch us, Lord, right now. And just wait right now over the room. Increase your fire right now, Lord. Increase your fire right now. That tenderizing anointing. That anointing of tenderizing. The ears and the eyes. Release your fire. That realm of revelation. Catch us up. Release that realm of trances. That realm of visions. That realm of open visions right now, God. Release that realm of fire right now. Fire. Jesus. Fire. Now right now, all over the room, you sense the fire of God on you in a tangible way. All over the room, raise your hand right now. I want you to look around you right now and I want you to lay hands on them. Let's just bless what the Lord is doing and ask for increase. Jesus. Release fire. That's all you have to say is increase, Lord. Fire. Fire. Touch Candace right now with fire, Lord. Open heaven. Pray for an activation of prophetic anointing. The prophetic prophetic seeing and hearing fire to see fire to hear Jesus some of you are feeling that fire on your ears and on your eyes raise raise your hand you're feeling it literally on your ears physically on your ears and on your eyes just raise your hand real high right now even as we pray for the others I want to make sure we get two or three around each one of these Lord's anointing the seers, as Corey said. He's anointing those to hear and see. It's a prophetic spirit he's releasing tonight. More, Lord. Increase, Lord. We are ready to burn, Lord. We are ready to burn. You who have eyes like a flame of fire, set your gaze on us, Lord. Inflame us with your very zeal, Lord, for our hearts. Inflame us, Jesus. Release your fire right now. Just a couple more minutes. Just keep asking for the increase. Just whisper the phrase, I am ready to burn, Lord. Touch preachers and singers. the ministry of fire it's surrounding the throne of God it's the ability to gaze on the holy and to proclaim of the holy release Isaiah 6 encounters Lord to the lips to the eyes to the ears increase increase your fire Lord He's setting apart his priest. It's the ministry to gaze. Those seraph around the throne of God, they're called the burning ones. Release that priestly anointing, God. Release the priestly anointing to gaze and to hear and to proclaim. Touch our lips. Spirit of prophecy increase. fire, Lord. Release your fire right now, Lord. Touch our eyes right now, Lord. 
burning ones around the throne of God. Burning ones. Burning ones. Raise up burning ones. God, release divine markings tonight. Burning ones. Release that realm of encounter. Release that eye salve on our eyes to see. highlighting prophetic singers the musicians I heard at the beginning of the evening the sounds of heaven you're going to hear the sounds of heaven you're going to see the sights of heaven and you're going to sing out of that place of encounter you're going to hear the very sounds of heaven there's number in this room you've been asking the Lord I want to hear the sounds of heaven I want to hear the music of heaven just raise your hand if that's you like oh come Holy Spirit fire just put your hands on your ears Holy Spirit, we ask you to open ears right now to hear the sounds of heaven. Fire. Just release the songs and the sounds Fire. of heaven. Fire. More love. Fire. Just gather around them. You see someone with their hands on their ears or their hand raised, you just gather around them and agree with what the Lord is doing. That's all we do when we pray. We're just agreeing with what the Lord's doing and asking Him for more. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit of prophecy, Spirit of revelation, Spirit of burning. We want to dwell in those everlasting burnings. We want our eyes to see the King in His beauty. We want to gaze upon the King in His beauty. Release Revelation 4 encounters. We want to gaze upon the King in His beauty. Release Daniel seven encounters. It so as you begin to feel the fire, begin to lightly pray in the Holy Spirit. We're just stoking the flame and you're cooperating with the Holy Spirit as He moves on. You just begin to lightly pray. Commune with Him. Musicians. I even ask you right now, are one thing interns? The Lord is cleansing you from the past tonight. There's a cleansing anointing. It says in Malachi 3, is going to sit down and purify the priest. He's releasing the fire to cleanse your eyes and your ears. So he can fill your eyes and ears with new sights and new sounds. Where are my one fingers at? Raise your hand. Touch him, Lord, right now. Fire on the interns, Lord. Cleansing from the old. It's a new creation night. The old is gone. The new has come. New sounds. New sights. New encounter, deliverance from religion, escort into revelation, visitation, trances, visions, open heavens. Lord, what you did for Matt Gilman during the One Thing internship, you took him up to heaven. You took him on a guided tour. Take these One Thing interns on a guided tour. Oh, the very city. Catch them up, Lord. I'm so ready to burn. Shut up. 
hear the Lord say, my singers, my musicians, my prophets, my preachers, why do you buy that which cannot satisfy you? Why are you looking for new sounds in all the wrong places? Something that's already been done, a song that's already been sung. But I tell you that I am releasing something much larger. Oh, I tell you, I am releasing something much stronger than the rebellion. Oh, I tell you, I am releasing light with melody. Oh, I tell you, I'm gonna change the world through singing. Oh, I tell you, I'm gonna change the world through preaching and singing. Oh, I tell you that if you lift up your voice, if you lift up your voice,
Baptize us, baptize us. Let the fire in your eyes be the flame on our heart. Baptize us, baptize us, Lord. Sing it again with us. Baptize us, baptize us. Let the fire in your eyes be the flame on our heart. Baptize us, baptize us, Lord. Lord, touch us right now over this room. Fresh hunger for the Holy Spirit. My message tonight was on Holy Spirit. <laughs> Beloved, He's here. Let, no, no, all, all over the room. Let's keep your eyes on Him. He wants to increase. He is the gift of the Father. He's not some side part of the Trinity. He is one with the Father and one with the Son. The same nature of the same essence. And He has come. He is the gift sent from above. He is the Spirit of truth. He is the one who came to live in us and with us forever. He has come to help us. To teach us. To bring to our remembrance everything Jesus said. He is the helper. He is the paraclete. He is the comforter. Beloved, He is the teacher. And the one that's stirring on me right now, John 16, 8, He's the convictor. <sighs> Beloved, I've been stirred in our own prophetic history. The Lord was going to release a John 16, 8 anointing. Out of this movement, the Lord was going to raise up apostolic and prophetic preachers. Teachers that would go to the four corners and that there would be an anointing. The Lord would convict the world of sin, righteousness, and of the judgment to come. Lord, we ask you to release even your hand tonight, Holy Spirit. He said the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth. He will take of the things of Jesus and declare them to you. He won't speak on his own authority. Whatever he hears, he will declare. What are you hearing, Holy Spirit? What are you doing, Holy Spirit? The Lord is awakening a fresh hunger for intimacy with Holy Spirit. He's been touching the singers and musicians tonight, but I also believe he wants to touch the preachers and the teachers. He wants to release a John 16, 8 anointing. John 16, 8. And when he has come, he will convict. He wants to come upon preachers. When they open their mouth, more than positive speaking, the light of heaven comes through their words. Everything is opened up before the, the light of heaven. All over this room, if that's who you are and that's the cry of your heart is for that anointing to come upon your life. I want you all over this room to raise your hand. Stand and raise your hand. The Lord's called you as a preacher. Just keep it raised right now. John 16, 8. I would encourage you in our prophetic history, a couple of... Years ago when we did it, track five, Mike spoke on the apostolic preachers. It spoke about John 16, 8, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. God, release your, release your touch right now on your preachers and your teachers right now. Release the spirit of conviction right now. Even those viewing through the web, release the fire right now. Isaiah 6 encounters, touch lips, touch eyes, touch ears. Let this word go so deep, God. Release the spirit of conviction upon us, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, upon us. Now just wait on the Holy Spirit. Increase your fire.
when he has come. Let's ask him to come. When he has come, he will. When he has come, he will. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, increase. Holy Spirit, it's you. Holy Spirit, it's you. It's not personalities. It's you. Holy Spirit, come upon us. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is upon me. Release the anointing. Release the Holy Spirit upon us. Acts 1.8, and when He has come upon you, release baptisms in the Holy Spirit. Touch us right now, God. The hands for the healing. It's your fire, Lord. (sighs) Fire. Release your fire. Holy Spirit, we bless you tonight. We honor you, Holy Spirit. Come upon your preachers, Lord. I ask you out of this school and out of this house, you would shoot preachers to the four corners of the earth, Lord. Release your fire, Lord. Just a couple more minutes. Just wait on him. Touch us, Lord. If you sense the fire on you in a special way, wave your hand in a special way. Just lay hands on them right next to you. Increase it, Lord. Increase it. Increase it, Lord. Increase the fire. John 16, 8. And when he has come, he will convict the world of sin, righteousness, and of judgment. Jesus says, I still have many things to tell you. But you cannot bear them now. He says, but when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. Holy Spirit, come, increase. Release the impartation of fire. The very impartation that he's anointing you with is bringing cleansing and shining light to areas right now. Removing the gray areas, removing the the concessions with darkness. Light, light, light to your minds. Light to your emotions. Light to your will. Light to your body. The same spirit that's coming upon you is coming to you. Yeah. As he comes upon you, he's going to shine that light. He's going to shine that light. He's going to, he comes to cleanse and he comes to impart. And as he begins to shine that light, don't just whoa under his presence. You break agreement with that thing that he's shining light on. You begin breaking your agreement and your alliance with darkness. He's very specific. He doesn't come to condemn. He comes to convict. And when he comes to convict, he highlights in a very specific way. And you need to let that thing come up and you break your agreement with it in the name of Jesus. You don't need someone to pray for you. You pray. Before the Father, repent yeah. and break your agreement with that thing. And whatever that is, you make that phone call. You throw that thing away. You do whatever is necessary to break your agreement with that issue that the Holy Spirit is highlighting. He's purifying the Levites. Beloved, it's the Levites who are the messengers in Malachi 2. He is the one. 
who is my messenger. It says in Malachi 2, it's the Levites, and he comes to cleanse the Levites so that they can have a pure word. So Holy Spirit, increase right now. Just increase right now. Again, if you're feeling his fire touching you in an unusual way, in a special way, in a way that's more than normal, I just want you to raise your hand because we want to get people around you to pray with you. You're feeling his presence touching you in an unusual way. Not to interview you, but just to agree and say, Lord, touch them more, highlight more. Come Holy Spirit. I want to invite everyone in the room just to engage with the Lord right now, whether you're a preacher or not. Just, just sit before the Lord or stand before the Lord and just get comfortable before Him. Waiting before the Lord is not waiting. Looking at your watch going, I wonder if the Lord's going to move. It's saying, God, I'm, I'm expecting you to touch me. I want you to touch me. I'm positioning myself to receive from you right now. I encourage you, if we do that as a room, corporately, the Lord will give us more. The Holy Spirit always comes in Scripture and in history when God's people are in agreement together, when we're not just sitting, watching, and observing, but we're saying, God, whether we feel it or whether we don't feel it, we believe that you're here, and we want your presence to increase right now. So, Lord, increase your presence. Come as that John 16, spirit of conviction, spirit of truth, move. Spirit of truth, move. In the name of Jesus, shine light all over this room. If you need to respond to the Lord, the Lord's shining light, you need to respond by coming forward. You can come forward to these lines. There's space on these lines. Whatever helps you engage with the Lord. More, Lord. We welcome you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Increase your presence, Lord, right now. You speak light right now. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We honor you, Holy Spirit, when he has come. God, we cry out that you would raise up from this house revivalist. Release that revival anointing, God. Release that revival anointing. Revivalist anointing. Touch your revivalist, Lord. John 16, 8 anointing. Revivalist. Revivalist. In this nation. In this city. The nations of the earth, release that revivalist anointing. John 16, 8. <sighs> oh, Lord, we ask you for Holy Spirit. We cannot do anything apart from you. We ask you to come upon our life. Beloved, it's your confession that you cannot do anything apart from him. We ask you, Holy Spirit, do in us and through us what we cannot do for ourselves. John Wesley just says, I set myself on fire. And people come and watch me burn. Lord, I pray that you would raise up men and women in this place that would set themselves on fire. Oh, that they would receive a baptism of fire. That when they open their mouths, light, light would penetrate darkness. Light would expose. Light would bring to. That you would release light. Remove all of our opinions. Increase your fire, Lord. Touch your. 
Release that revelatory anointing, God. He will guide you into all truth. He will take of what is mine and declare it to you. Holy Spirit, take the things of Jesus and declare them to us. He will glorify me. He will glorify me. He will glorify me. I hear people say, I just want to focus on Jesus. Well, good. Focus on Jesus because Jesus is telling you to focus on Holy Spirit so you can focus on Him. He's the Spirit that searches the deep things of God. He's the Spirit that searches the deep things of God. He's the search engine of heaven. He's searching the deep things of the Father and the Son. Searching out His personality and His heart. Fresh discoveries. The Bible says that we have received the Spirit that we might know the things freely given to us by God. Oh, Holy Spirit, come upon us. Great search engine of heaven. Take us into the deep things of God. God, He's taken your deep and He's placed it on the inside of you. Place your deep on the inside of us, God. Release that revelatory anointing God, right now. Fire. Fire on preachers. Release the prophetic realm, Lord, right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Increase. Engage with Him. We don't want to just watch. Beloved, He's a person. He lives on the inside of you. Jesus says He would be with us and in us forever. In a billion years, your best friend will be Holy Spirit on the inside. Increase your fire, Lord. Increase your fire. Burn up the dross. Burn up all the other affections. Spirit of conviction, come to us. We renounce all the hidden things of darkness. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Increase your fire, Lord. See, even as you're staying in this, begin to lightly pray in the Holy Spirit. It stokes the flame. It stokes the flame. Asking simple prayers, increase Holy Spirit. Whatever He's highlighting to you, Renounce it. Break your agreement with it. I just got the verse, Ephesians 5. It says, have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. All things that are exposed are made manifest by the light. For whatever makes manifest is light. Therefore, he says, awake you who sleep. Arise from the dead and Christ will give you light. Release light in the name of Jesus. Increase your fire, Lord. I just want to ask right now all over the room, if the Lord's been speaking to you, even about coming up here to these front lines 
and you're not able to, you think it's just too messy or whatever, there's a handful of you that need to come up here. We want to pray for you right now. Right now, all over the room, if you want prayer in a specific way, just for the Lord to increase, just come on up here. Just let's make room. If you can move off, if you can't, then stay where you're at. But let's just crowd in here. We want to pray for you. Just come stand on these lines. and Let's ask for the increase. We're not observers. We're engagers. We engage with this person. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Just asking for the increase. Just push all the way across. Push all the way across. God, I ask you, we ask you to release a baptism of fire. Release a baptism of fire. I ask you for hunger. Some of you in this room, I felt it today in the prayer room. Some of us have lost our vision for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And I believe that part of what the Lord's doing tonight is rekindling a passion and a hunger for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. It's a new revival cry. It's a spirit of intercession. If you would say, that's me, I've lost, I've lost that, and I need it reignited in my life. Raise your hand right now. You're like, God, I need, I need it reignited. I believe he's birthing a fresh hunger for the outpouring. Release the fire right now, God. Release the fire. Fire in our hearts. Touch our bellies with fire. Increase our hunger, Holy Spirit. We ask for hunger. 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 Increase hunger. Hungry for revival, God. Do it in me, God. Make me hungry for revival. Some of you stopped prophesying. You were called to prophesy. Some of you called to preach. You've given up. You've pulled off the brake. You've put on the brakes. Some of you have lost your vision not only for revival, but for the Lord to use you. That expectation daily that the Lord is going to use you in the workplace. That expectation daily that the Lord is going to work by His Spirit through you to heal the sick, to save the lost. You need to be up here too. The Lord wants to rekindle His fire within. More Lord. More Lord. More Lord. More Lord. More Lord. Some of you believe the lies of the enemy. He's not going to use me. That prophecy was a lie. Those words were not true. Some of you felt you messed up and you disqualified. Lord says it's time to step back in. It's time to step back into the race. His blood is enough. Wherever you've been, whatever you've done, you may have been fiery six months ago and you lost the fire and you took yourself out of the race. The Lord says, step back in tonight. Step back in tonight. Ask me for more. Ask me for more. Holy Spirit, increase your presence all over this room. We ask you for more. We ask you for more. We eagerly anticipate the increase of your presence. Release faith for revival. Release faith for breakthrough. Release faith that you'll use us. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. The Lord says, I am the God of longings fulfilled. 
I am the God of fulfilled dreams. I am the God of fulfilled visions. I am the God who does not lie. I am the God who is faithful and true. When I come to you by my spirit, come Holy Spirit more.
Hold on.